This is a hayfield that was mowed within the last week or two. This footage is from 10 September 2016 in a rural area near Albany, New York, USA. Here's grass on the perimeter of this hayfield next to a foot trail. I cleared away some of the grass in order to look at the invertebrates that live underneath it. You can see that the ground is teeming with bugs, many of them springtails. This may be the highest density of springtails I've yet seen on a grassy field. Basically everywhere I put my microscope camera, I could see lots of springtails walking around. Based on the numbers that you can see here, I would guess that there was at least one invertebrate per square centimeter of ground in this region, which is a density of 100 million per hectare. A hectare is very roughly the size of two American football fields. I suspect that this particular region of soil was particularly invertebrate dense because it was in the shade, which allowed it to stay moister. More moisture means more decomposing organic matter for the springtails to eat. Just a few meters away from here, in a wooded area, I saw hardly any springtails on the ground because the soil was very dry. It's sad to think about how many springtails must have been crushed by the tires of the tractor when cutting the hay. Possibly millions of springtails are crushed in this process over one hectare of field area, although maybe this is an overestimate if the springtail density in the rest of the field was lower than it was here. Of course, natural deaths can be just as painful as being crushed by tractor tires. All of these millions of springtails will die one way or another, probably within a few weeks or months. This page says, quote, springtails reproduce rapidly and a single life cycle may take just three to five weeks from hatching to maturity, end quote. Another page says, quote, the lifespan of springtails is short, usually less than a year, although some species live longer. Many springtails are opportunistic species capable of rapid population growth." End quote. That same page also says about springtails, quote, under favorable conditions, they can reach densities of more than 100 individuals per square centimeter. Columbula, which is the scientific name for springtails, make up a significant proportion of the animal biomass in most soils. Springtails are omnipresent members of soil fauna. They inhabit both the surface and the depth of the soil, and often occur in large aggregations. Like many soil animals, Columbula prefer dark, damp habitats. End quote. This page says, quote, Humidity is usually the most important factor in determining Columbula distribution. High humidity is seldom a problem for Columbula, but desiccation is often serious. Columbula resist desiccation by moving into microenvironments of high humidity, under stones or into deeper soil layers, and or limiting activity to nights and by morphological adaptations. Columbula, even in uniform soils, are never randomly distributed, but show strong clumping because of pheromones or local food abundance, or simply as a result of limited dispersion after founding events and subsequent population growth. Most carnivorous soil organisms feed on columbola, and many beetles, ants, and wasps are specialized for feeding on them. End quote. I mentioned that natural springtail deaths can often be agonizing. To illustrate this point, I'll end by showing a few snippets from videos that other people have made. 